meteorologist Natalie Stoll. With a very, very hot afternoon, now that the sun has set, things have cooled down just a touch. We're still, though, in the 80s at this hour, clearing skies and calm wind conditions. But when you wake up early tomorrow morning, we could see a few of those low-level clouds, 79 degrees, but they clear quickly. We'll see mostly sunny skies by noon, 93 already, and then 101 by 5 p.m. tomorrow night. That's what we hit today as our afternoon high. We can expect similar conditions tomorrow. Right now, temperatures in the Hill Country Still in the upper 80s, a low 90s. It's 88 and burn at 90. And Lano, a little bit cooler as you head east, though. It's 86 in Georgetown, 86 right now in Bastrop, and 84 degrees in San Marcos. Mostly clear in 86 at Camp Mabry, 86 degrees out at the airport as well. And winds are light out of the south and southeast. They'll stay light overnight tonight through much of the day tomorrow, though. We'll continue to see that south-southeasterly flow. Now, unfortunately for most mold sufferers, the count today a little bit higher than it was yesterday. A count over 2,000 this afternoon, and we can expect a similar count tomorrow through the afternoon hours, especially since we've seen some of that moisture here in central Texas. Satellite radar, we had some showers and storms on the radar earlier today, mainly just north of us near the Dallas area and then near Houston along the coast, missing us right here in central Texas. But once the sun set, all of that wet weather has tapered off, and we're going to see these clouds clear. Just a few low-level ones developing early tomorrow morning, then plenty of sunshine through the afternoon. And we're going to see this pattern kind of stay put for the next couple of days. In the upper levels of the atmosphere, high pressure regains control of our weather pattern fully again. So that means we have sinking air in place. You're not going to get a whole lot of cloud development, nor are you going to see good chances of rain all the way through the weekend. If we go hour by hour through our forecast, it'll look something like this. Tonight, we have clearing skies, but early in the morning, just some low-level clouds are possible. By tomorrow afternoon, plenty of sunshine, very hot, humid conditions. And then for your Saturday, Day. Similar things again. Start out few low morning clouds by the afternoon, plenty of sunshine. That means temperatures will be over 100 again. Tonight, though, temperatures falling into the upper 70s in most areas. Some places in the hill country could drop into the mid 70s there, but most of us are going to see another very warm morning tomorrow. By the afternoon, temperatures upper 90s. Uh, most areas, though, hitting that 100 degree mark. And when you add in the humidity or the moisture in the air, we will heat index values, what it feels like outside, is actually going to be between 105 and 110 tomorrow. So it'll be a good day to make sure you have plenty of water if you're spending any time outdoors. Tonight, 79 degrees, clearing skies for tomorrow. Few morning clouds, plenty of sunshine in the afternoon, 101 your afternoon high, and your seven-day forecast shapes up like this. With high pressure and control, that means lots of sun all the way through Sunday. Temperatures 101, 102 degrees, 102 on Monday as well. But by Tuesday and Wednesday, things start to change a little bit. We could see a weakening of that high pressure, giving us just enough of a chance of a shower or two on Wednesday and Thursday. And we're going to see temperatures, if we see that cloud cover, that rain, falling back into the 90s. Now, of course, you can always have your latest weather forecast every morning, starting at 5 a.m. with Sean Rutherford. Your traffic comes with first warning weather every 10 minutes. And you can get that starting at 5 a.m. tomorrow.